Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am here for my July Beacon Book Box unboxing. I am mainly excited about this just because I know this has the final Lunar Chronicles dust jacket in it, like the custom dust jackets they've been doing. And I just want my set to be complete. I have the dust jackets on the first three and it's just like the Lunar Chronica. Like, uh, it's so close to saying the final words and I'm so excited. So this is the Turn Back Time. I just want to sing share every time I saw their like theme for this month. So let's get into it. Also because I know the one item that they like spoiled as their like teaser item thing, I am curious to see how it's gonna fit me. Which are right on top. Okay, so this, oh god, oh god, everything is going poorly. This is what we're looking at. This is the spoiler card. And that's the item that I was talking about. They included slippers. Let's get to these because uh, they do, it's interesting to me when boxes include one size fit all clothing because I am a tiny human being. Uh, so this is already bigger than my whole face, which is not boding well for how well they're gonna fit my tiny, tiny feet. But these are slippers, Game of Thrones, obviously inspired. What is that, the Targaryen symbol? I haven't caught up on Game of Thrones, I know. I've never read the books, but I have watched up through like season four-ish until I moved out of the house that had HBO in it and I have since not caught up. So we got some slippy slips. So let's put these on the Tootsies. This is gonna go so well. Ooh, they're soft, they are comfy. Oh my God, I have the tiniest feet in the world. Are you guys ready? Like, what, what? For size reference, I wear like a five and a half, six shoe size, which can also translate to a size three children's. It's really beneficial because I can wear kid shoes, which are way cheaper than like, you know, adult women's shoes. But there's, there's that, there's my foot in the slipper. It's still real comfy. I mean, they're slippers. I'm gonna wear them like around the house. So I'm just gonna wear these for the rest of the unboxing and look ridiculous. Actually, you know what? I need to actually like display these. That's the whole purpose of me having like the card here. So, uh, slippies, slippies in the background. Does that work? All right, cool. And next thing is another big item. Uh, oh, oh, I get this now. I put the sass in Sassanach. I just read Outlander and I'm working through season one of the show. I'm trying to read the book, watch the season, read the book, watch the season. I'm almost done season one, which means I need to read book two now, but I understand this now. Also, this is a pretty bitchin' bag. Oh, it has a zipper. Oh, it's like a cooler. Oh, oh, look. It's got that like space reflecty stuff inside, also known as like foil. Uh, so this is fun. So this is a little like cooler thing that actually expands pretty far. It has a little pocket in the front here where that logo is, which I kind of like that it's offset. Uh, so this is fun. It's just solid on the back. It's got some lovely handles. Unique item, fan of that, big fan. So let's get into, ooh, is this soap? This, oh yeah, that's soap. That smells like soap. Uh, Jules Embers, all the time in the world, soap bar. What is that in reference to? Jules Embers, all the time in the world. I don't know what that is. Sweet orange plumeria with hints of over a dozen other timeless scents. Ooh, I like that description. That's clever and cute. Um, hold on, I wanna take, can I take this out without like ruining the things? Cause I wanna show you, ooh, the soap looks, oh, look how beautiful this soap is. Oh my God. It smells, it smells a little orangey, but it's okay. You know, like natural soaps, when you go in a store that sells like natural soaps or like goat's milk soaps or things like that, they all have a very unique scent to them. Like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like a faint earthy scent. I love this and I managed to get the labels back on. Oh, this is from Everless. Okay. I forgot that was a fandom that was being represented. I read Everless like a long time ago. That's probably why that name was not ringing a bell. I just saw the next item. Items. There are two of these in here. We have some TARDIS socks. Who else is a Whovian in my fan base? Is any anyone else Whovians? Because we got not one, but we got two pairs. We got a Dalek and we got a TARDIS pair of socks. So there's a piece of paper there. Look at these. Love it. How classy am I going to be if I put these on, then put the slippers on, and then just like carry my cooler to work? Oh man, I'll be setting a fashion statement right there. So we got two pairs of socks that are Doctor Who. So far, I'm digging all of the time vibes here. Alrighty, next, this is the item that I was talking about that I was waiting for. Let's see it. I, I mean, I've already seen it because they shared the artwork. Oh, Jesus, this is so beautiful. And it has an apple. Okay, 
So this is the final dust jacket of the Lunar Chronicles. So let me go grab my set so that I can put it on the book so you guys can see the full effect of the full set complete and together like a lovely little family. Okay, one sec. The gang's all here. Look at it. This is a horrible way to hold them up. One second. Let me put these on the table so you guys can fully appreciate the glory that is this full set. So it all lines up. It says, oh my stars. And all of them have their own individual couple covers and symbols on the back. And they all line up beautifully. So this is the final one. We obviously have Winter and what's his face? Jason? Is that it? Jasper? Jacob? I want to say Jason, but spelled weird. Am I right about that? Ah, uh, I love it. So, and it wraps, oh, it has an apple on the back and the inside of the dust jackets is still a little curly, so it needs to flatten out, but the inside has constellations on it and I just love it. All of this artwork is done by Katadara and I believe she is continuing to do the next set. The next set of dust jackets, by the way, guys, is going to be for the Caraval trilogy which I'm guessing I'm gonna need to rebuy. I haven't decided what I'm doing about this because I actually don't own them because I haven't read beyond book one. I know. Uh, so I'm debating whether I should rebuy the series just so that I can have the fancy ass dust jackets on them or if I should do giveaways with them because I know people are gonna want these, so I'm undecided. Okay, actually there are two things in the bottom of the box beneath the book, so I'm gonna get to those first. It says, this card is a gift from Mama Beacon. Oh, thanks, Mama Beacon. This is not something that was paid for by you or an item in the box. It's just a thank you to everyone from Mama Beacon for supporting Cameron's business. This picture is a credit of the TV show Outlander. I know she's a huge fan of Outlander. Character Jamie Fraser, played by Sam Hewen. I know. Like I said, I'm just binging through Outlander right now so I can fully appreciate this. And then we have an art print with the recipe card on the back for Baking with the Beacons. This is for Susan's Sticky Toffee Pudding. Who is Susan? She's holding a lion head, as in like, I mean, petting a lion. She's not like holding just a lion's head. That would be weird. Uh, so I'm guessing this is Narnia. I haven't read the Chronicles of Narnia since I was like 10 years old. So is Susan one of the characters? Hold on, let me look it up because now I'm questioning everything. Uh, Bacon with the Beacon, Susan, Narnia inspired, yes, me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was right, yeah, go me. So this is a lovely art print of Susan and Aslan, I'm assuming, is that, and a uh, recipe card on the back so you can learn how to make some sticky toffee pudding. That sounds delish. So we have, where do I put everything? I don't know. We'll just put Sam's face right there. Is that fine? That's fine by me. So it looks like we are not getting a book sleeve in this box, but we have a book in a little bag, which I kind of appreciate they put it in a bag because uh, male people are not very considerate with book mail. They tend to just leave it on my front step without putting it in a plastic bag, so books tend to get ruined from time to time. Oh, look at this cover. I hadn't actually seen this cover in person, and this is like not what I was picturing when I was seeing it online. The book is The Beckoning Shadow by Katherine Blair. I talked about this in my releases video. This sounds so unique and so dang good. Um, also, look at this cover. I don't know why I didn't realize it was like a silhouette of a chick with like a bandaged fist, like fighting, you know? Uh, interesting. Ooh, we have an author letter. And if I remember correctly, yes, this book is indeed signed, which is lovely. Um, this follows a girl who I believe can bring everybody's worst fear into reality. Like that's her power. Um, and if I remember, hold on, let me read the synopsis real quick. Okay. Yeah. She gets, um, a spot in the tournament of an unraveling, which is where competitors can battle it out for the chance to rewrite the past. So she basically is entering this competition to be able to go back and undo a lot of the wrongdoings that she did to people with her powers in the past. Like if you can bring somebody's truest fears to reality, you can like really mess up some people. So I think she has a lot of guilt on her shoulders and she enters this tournament as a way to rewrite the past to like fix the things that she has done to people. And I believe there is a guy that she meets there. I'm assuming a romance will ensue. It sounds super unique. Like I've never heard a synopsis that's even remotely similar to that. Also this book is way thicker than I was expecting. I didn't picture it as being like a really long book for some reason. I don't know why. So that is everything that came in the July Beacon Book Box. The August theme is Enchanted Endings, I want to say, and I believe it's going to be a retelling based box. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can always use my code, which is Chelsea5. We'll save you 5% on your box if you would like to. Also, I highly recommend, I say this every unboxing, but I highly recommend following their Instagram account because they do live shows on Sundays at 5 p.m. 
uh, where they drop a lot of hints of upcoming things that are happening in the box or with the company. And I highly recommend tuning into those because uh, you get some insider information. So I will leave that link down below, their Instagram account, their website, the rep code, all of the usual things you can find in my description. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one.